Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight at 10. I'm Bridget Bennett. The water continues to rise in southwest Minnesota, where the West Fork Des Moines River is at its highest point in 50 years. People in the community of Wyndham are now waiting for waters to recede so cleanup can begin. KSF1 News reporter Jill Langland was in Wyndham and has the latest details in tonight's top story. It started with our awareness of the significant event that happened out in Lake Chetek in Murray County. People in the Wyndham community have spent days working to fight off the rising water. The people who have been around a lot longer than I have said we've never seen the water this high. It was right up against bridges. We had numerous township roads closed. Several of those Cabo County roads are still closed tonight, along with Island Park, which remains under feet of water. The water is extremely high, um, it's dangerous. That water has got a lot of force to it. And so I just encourage uh, residents and people to stay off the water, stay away from the water. Another area of town underwater is the local golf course. This was the weekend for our annual member guest uh, tournament sponsored by the Toro Company. The annual tournament cut short from the rising flood levels. Only three holes remain untouched by the water. As of Thursday night and then of course uh, early Friday morning, uh, the river continued to rise. And of course, as you can see behind me now, we've obviously had a significant uh, increase in the water levels. The rising river also caused extreme stress for the homeowners in Wyndham. It kind of slowly crept up on us, but my first thoughts is that, like, what am I going to have to do? Am I going to have to move or find another place to live here? And, you know, yesterday we spent most of our time sandbagging, so it was kind of a struggle, but, you know, I think we're going to get through this. Island Park is in Bristow's backyard. His family spent the entire day preparing. A lot of sandbags yesterday. I mean, we, we worked hard for like three or four hours and we got 500 set up in our backyard. Uh, Mother Nature is going to decide when does the river go down? Uh, when do we start working on that? What's our recovery time? And uh, of course, optimists would say we can get back on the course soon. And a realist might say it might be a little bit longer than that. 